Hey everybody, Scott with Brad's Killer Fishing Gear. Hey, here to talk today a little bit about fishing super baits in fresh versus saltwater. And what's the difference? So one of the key things is this year and, and just about every year, it seems like we have changing regulations and the amount of time that we can fish on the water is getting more and more limited, right? One of the key things that, that we're focusing on is obviously fishing super baits. Number one, we don't have to stop in the morning and buy bait. Number two, and this is probably the most important thing, is that we know we're always fishing. You've got that herring on, it's spinning around. Did it get blown out? Did it get a short bite you didn't see? Do you really know if it's fishing or not? Is it effective? Absolutely. Herring is very, very effective. However, don't know if you're always fishing. Super baits match the herring, match the size, match colors, and we can add scent to them as well. So in case you're not familiar with the super bait, uh, here's just a quick example. Here's our original skinny super bait. It's got a cavity that opens like that. Put scent in, close the cavity, put a rubber band on, put it down, boom, you're fishing. So we basically have four different sizes. The one I just showed you, the original skinny. We've got the standard cut plug. We've got the mini cut plug, and then we've got the kokanee cut plug. All are used for salmon. All have their uses in times where they would really work. So, big difference. There are some differences between the fresh and the salt. Big difference. River, you're looking at color. Maybe something that's got a little brighter, got a little more bling to it, got a little funkier color. Um, you know, upriver, Certainly up in the Hanford Reach area, you're looking at stuff like, uh, you know, hot lava here, hot tamale here, you know, something like rotten banana. Twisted Sister would work, you know, anywhere, but those are generally colors that, you know, a little brighter, a little more attractive. You're getting that, that real aggression bite, right? Because these fish aren't necessarily feeding when they're getting that far up, but it's an aggression thing. Out in the salt, different deal right? They're still feeding. What are they feeding on? We're matching the hatch. We're looking for the prey that they're looking at. A lot of that prey, there's some very similar characteristics. One of the biggest is silver bellies. So what, what colors are we fishing for out in the salt? You know, things with silver belly right here. Got blue Hawaiian. It's got that silver belly, but it's got the blue on the back. Perfect for the salt. That's one of our most popular for the salt, as is blue magic right here. Similar to the blue Hawaiian, but instead of scales, it's got spots on it. Um, something about those spinning spots, you know, bring in the, and attract the strike. Uh, shamrock, very similar to, um, to the blue Hawaiian as well, except for it's got a darker back. So a little bit more like an anchovy with that dark back. And then certainly blackjack, it's got that black scale on the back. Very, very similar to an anchovy. And then from there, you're looking at size, right? So you're trying to match the hatch. What size are the herring or the anchovies in your area? This year down at Bowie 10, we had some huge anchovy. So, you know, this is the size that we'd be using down at Bowie 10, out in the salt and right there in the brackish water as well. But, you know, some years we get the smaller ones and you get pinheads, you know, the minis and, and these little kokanees work real well to match. That's all you're doing. You're matching the hatch. And then of course, last thing is, we've got size, we've got color, last thing is scent. Always using tuna and oil as our base. Star kiss, chicken of the sea, it, it really doesn't matter what it is, but we're looking for tuna and oil. If you can't find it in oil, find it in water, empty out the water, put in a tablespoon of vegetable oil, you now have tuna and oil. All right, from there, add your scents. Sardine, herring, candlefish, squid, any of those work. But the key thing is, is just trying to match the bait fish in your area. And that's from Alaska all the way down to California, anywhere out where you're, you're fishing the salt. So those are some key differences there. Hey everybody, check out CCA online, cca.org, wonderful organization. They're fighting for the future of our salmon and steelhead, not just for us, but for generations to come. Please check them out and thank you so much for your support.